when everybody else would be saying, nice shot. And Len will let him escape with that one shot into the net. Just a word now for those of you who are hoping to see the film Leighton Image, which is due to start around now. Well, we are staying with the tennis until the conclusion of this match, and the film has been delayed. First serve percentages on Lendl's side are still very tough. In all of the sets that he's played so far, all three of them, he has not yet got over 50%. And, well, it just hurts him because when he gets the first serve in, he wins three out of four. When he doesn't, he is right at about one out of two. Has been a problem for Lendl all match long. And then add to that the fact that some of the passing shots that he usually makes on a trot He's just not making. It's difficult in the stadium. It's so windy here, and remember, it's nighttime now. It's pretty dark. That ball seemed to carry. Matt's backwards. That's what Lindell needs, a few aces. take the return and come into net. Element of surprise. He does miss a few volleys, but he looks so much more secure than Lendl. Oh, he feels the ball much better at net. He feels comfortable. Bill Ender does feel comfortable compared to Lendl. As Cliff said earlier, that, you know, Bill Ender's really made himself an all-court player. First serve. He can win on any surface now. I'll take you up on that, though. Why doesn't he win at Wimbledon? 40, 15. Well, first of all, he never should be playing with cheer because the cheer beats all the Swedes. <laughs> That's he's got to get a good draw that help. And here you see how hard Lindell hits that forehand because Villander could not even get his racket on the ball. I don't think he's won Wimbledon yet and will have problems with it because of the fact that he served just is not quite strong enough. Remember Borg, another Swede who played in a similar style. Well, he improved his serve at a certain time and won those five in a row, but it was behind the incredible serving, I thought. Already we're into three hours and three minutes. That's exhausting just to look at the time. And there's a difference in the Lendl making the errors, also making the winners. But the land are more solid. You're right about Villander doesn't have the big serve, but I think he will uh, win Wimbledon eventually. I think, he, especially if that's the only one left for him to win, I think he will focus in a little bit more. Okay. Because I bet on Villander this year. And every time I think he's going to do well, and I bet on him, or I tell, I, you know, put it on the line and say, I think Villander's going to win. He's never done well. Because Cliff and I both think Lindell's going to win. You see, Villander's doing great. That's what always happens. <laughs> Time. 
They have both won about the same percentage of points when they come into the net. Wielander has come in 72 times to 54 for Lendl. So he's beginning to come in a little more at a certain time. They were about the same in terms of how many times they'd come in. But they win about 65% to 70% of the points when they come in. So they should be in there. A Go little for more. It. Absolutely. It'd be great if you could give them these stats during the match, Cliff. Well, important for them both, I think, to come in behind the right kind of approach. If they don't, they're going to be in a lot of trouble because you know how well both of these fellas pass, and that's always a consideration. I think they've been choosing very wisely in general. I agree, especially Wielander. And the volley error. Well, you notice every time Lindell comes to net, Bill Lander directs his passing shot to Lindell's forehand volley. Again, please, no flash cameras. That's the one that bothers him, is that forehand. Lindell's still upset from the flash cameras. Wielander play, I, as you watch the replay here, always have the feeling that it is very difficult for him. He never wins an easy point because he doesn't hit the ball hard enough when you consider, as you see, Lindell getting that overhead. Of course, that bounce is a relatively easy one for him. He's missed a few. But the others in the top eight all hit the ball harder than Mats. Ivan Lindell, Edberg, Agassi, Becker, Connors, Noah, Machia. Machia maybe doesn't hit it harder, but... I don't think Noah does off the ground or on his volleys, but his serve is definitely hit harder. Fifteen thirty. All done. We saw fatigue play a part, a big part, in the women's final. Will there come a point? And if so, when? When fatigue will play a part here? I don't think it will with these two. Uh, Sabatini has a history of stamina problems and these two really don't and in the last two or three years these both these players have made an unbelievable effort to stay in shape through running bicycling aerobics plus the drills that you do on the tennis court agree with that uh, remark Billy Jean I think that especially now in these conditions and it is much cooler now than it was when the match started add to that the fact that the adrenaline adrenaline is flowing and will continue to until this last ball has been struck uh, tiredness is not a factor tomorrow morning it may be but not now <laughs> Oh, he said, how many matches have I sat through this long? Many, many. 
Tony played totally different. Way he'd go to net a lot more often right off the bat. Game on there. Two all. Getting closer and closer to the coveted title. But you'll have to drag Lindell off the court before he'll lose. more oh the press room a lot of delayed stories I think a few sports editors wondering where the stories went where and when the story is coming from Lindell say yes when he made that. Second time this game. In fact, some sports psychologists teach some players to say yes as they hit the ball. They may have a positive attitude like that. Sports psychology a relatively new phenomenon. I'll ask you after this point how much was around when you were at your peak. Well, when Cliff and I were playing, we didn't have sports psychologists, but it's amazing how we, we thought, like what they're teaching the youngsters today, and there, Yvonne's got a lot on the line here, besides his number one ranking, four titles. Bill Tilton, the last one to get over three, 1920 to 25. Yeah. It was a pretty emphatic service game, that one. Almost as good as it's been throughout the match. A lot of them carry traveling psychologists. I know Pat Cash does right around the circuit. Well, we have one that helps our junior development program here in the United States, Jim Lair, who's excellent. Of course, you see Newlander eating bananas. I don't know why. I guess he's hungry. He's been out here a long time. Also, they're high in potassium. Although I've been told by many people that you have to eat a truckload to get enough. But <laughs> or a lorry load, I guess I should say. <laughs> you saw Ivan Lindell there come over that backhand down the line, hit a winner. Yeah. Your winning shots are always going to be hit into the side that well, your opponent least expects it, of course. But it is interesting to me, Billy Jean, I wonder if you have any views on it, that both these players now are hitting so much slice on the backhand side. I'm all for slice on the backhand side, and I know that's pretty much was your favorite shot as well. But I do think that uh, both Mats uses his two-hander a little... I'd like to see him hit it a little more often from the baseline. And by the same token, I think Lentil has now got so used to hitting that slice shot, and he's so comfortable with it now, that he doesn't hit over the ball enough and generate the kind of winners that you saw in that last game. Well, I was always taught that it's all right to hit a slice backhand when both players are in the backcourt. But believe me, when it comes to a passing shot or to force your opponent, then you have to be able to hit that flat shot, whether you're a two-handed backhand player or a one-handed backhand player. And I think Matt's actually has used his two-handed backhand a little bit more from the backcourt, throwing in a few more top spins along with that one-handed slice. Oh. You remember that it was a year ago, well, make it two years ago anyway, uh, that he never had any shot on the backhand side other than the two-hander and now that's completely different the guy is a changed player 